Hey everybody, I wanted to make a video today about how to wire up a solar generator. I've had a number of questions come um, through the comments on my YouTube channel asking how you actually wire, uh, in this case how I wired uh, one of the solar generators that I put on my channel. So I wanted to kind of do a video just to show you step by step or hopefully get the details that people are looking for on how to build their own solar generator. So let me uh, reset the camera and I will be back in a few minutes and I will start showing you how I did the wiring. All right, in this video I want to show how I wired the, the larger solar generator that's on, that seems to be a really popular version on my channel. Because uh, this one is a little bit more complex than the other ones that I've posted. So you can still remember that this one has the on off switch at the bottom. The light tells you that it's on. And then you can turn this on, and you can see that the uh, voltage is still up at 12.7. The charge controller is here, uh, just like everything's just the way that it was. Um, so let me move this back, and I will try to position this so that I can kind of walk through step by step how I did the wiring on this. So uh, one, one question that had come up was how I did the switch. So when you look at the, the switch, you'll see there are three pins there. Um, one of them is the, the power. So in this case, the power is on the top. So that's running here. This one and the fuse is real close to the, the positive battery post. So when you flip this off, the entire system goes dead. Because I didn't turn... You can see none of the lights are lit up on this, but as soon as I turn the switch back on, everything will turn on. You can see the LEDs are all lit up on there. Turn it off and it all dies. So that was the first thing that I did because I, I really wanted to be able to, um, when I turned it off, it was off. Uh, this has actually been sitting in my closet for about three months at least. And it's still at 12.6, 12.7 volts on the battery. So I could just top it back off with my solar panel and uh, be back in business. So um, from the switch, uh, I just have a, a, a 16 gauge wire going from the switch, which is these two on across the bottom. They go up to this bus bar. And what I've done is you, I'll give you a shot of that. I put the positives on the left and I've got the negatives on the right. And r basically all I did was I broke or I cut the metal out. So that separates the left side from the right side. And what I did was I went from the switch to the middle two poles on where the... the the bus strip across the top is divided and then I kind of just worked my way as I wanted to add more things I just worked my way across going either you know negatives on the on the right positives on the left so the the switch has two positives on it because one is just for the LED light that just that's what makes this light light up um, and uh, then I went the negative on the battery goes to the left, I'm sorry, the right side of the uh, bus strip up here across the top. So this thicker wire here, uh, I believe is an a, a 10 gauge wire, goes from the battery up to the negative. And then I just started, um, so the cigarette lighter plug is its own cord. This is just the wire that came with maybe not. I, I made this cable, I'm sorry, because I wanted it to be a certain length. And so I just, you know, put I, I paired them up on the positive, positive, negative, negative. Um, then I also hooked up the on off switch for the power meter. You'll see it goes to the it comes over here. You've got the the red goes to the red, the black goes to the black, and then I connected the power meter 
it came with its own positive and negative leads. So the, and that wire's about to come out, I'll have to redo that one. Um, the positive goes to the middle of the switch, uh, and that's where the voltage is read, and then the negative is on the bottom. And so then I just, uh, and then one of these is for the light, just like the other one is. You're going to have one wire for the light and one of the LED that's on the, that's on here when you turn this on. The LED turns on. So, and it lights, and then the meter turns on. So then, I ran, uh, You've got on the charge controller, you can see that this is a designator for the solar panel. This is obviously the battery. And this is if you wanted to hook up a load. They call this a load, but they put a light bulb there. So theoretically, you could put a light there if you wanted to, or you could just run uh, two wires off of this and run anything 12 volt that you want um, within a certain amount of, I think this is a 10 amp. Uh, charge controller so you can't you can't go over that but this is just positive negative right now I don't have anything hooked to them because um, I'm running the cigarette lighter and these posts off of the battery directly um, what I did was uh, the wires that come from the input for the solar panel they'll I just drilled holes Sure I, got the right. I drilled holes and they come up through the holes and they connect to the positive and negative of where the solar panel wants to go and then I ran two more wires for where the battery is out and into the bus strip and you can see those were the second ones that's the second thing I hooked up because it's in the positions two from the center uh, from the break in the bar up there at the top. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, I, uh, in this case, I wanted the full amperage coming out, and majority of the time, what I'm going to be hooking to those two posts are going to be fused in and by themselves. Uh, like the the uh, the inverter that I'm going to plug in, uh, there, it's going to have its own fuse. So I really wasn't concerned about that so much. Um, and those are just directly connected so uh, I go with the positive on here and the negative goes over here and this is 10 gauge wiring um, I, I wanted to be able to provide a large amount of current without the risk of burning the wires up get that framed right um, you know uh, to these posts on the outside and these just spin off you may remember that from the old video so I can just I can just connect alligator clips or I can put a wire with a, a, a eyelet on it here so and these just connect and you can tell I still haven't gotten around to painting those yet but I'm going to paint you know this one red this one black when I get around to it but the chances of something laying across those is pretty pretty remote because uh, it's just sitting in a in the bottom of a closet with a bunch of clothes in it so uh, that's pretty much it you know it uh, uh, it's surprising I've got uh, how many people I've gotten asking how you wire one of these things and I'm really glad I mean it really it really is a, a nice uh, refreshing uh, idea that you know people really watching the video and they're interested in building their own uh, solar generator because they're the, the uh, it's pretty pretty uh, easy thing to do uh, the battery is probably going to be the most expensive part of the whole thing um, and I only did it because I had some batteries laying around um, that I had bought on a, at a, a warehouse a, I'm sorry a um, like an Ace Hardware was going out of business near me uh, so they were moving to a new location and they had an entire rack of these batteries uh, like 75% off so I, I bought a ton of these things uh, and they've really come in handy because I've actually had a couple of people ask me if I would make them one um, and the fact of the matter is is that to buy this battery outright you're looking at all about 60 or 70 dollars just by itself and then you have to buy all the the, uh, the cigarette lighters the meters the switches the wire um, the uh, 
the charge controller, all of these things. Um, it's a nice project if you don't mind spending the money, but you could buy a Goal Zero. I have one on my Amazon channel. Um, it goes on sale sometimes for like $169 uh, that you could almost buy one of those for kind of what it would cost to make this unit. Um, it, I, this was more just an exercise in showing someone how they could make one. Um, but I really hadn't gotten in the business of making these for people because uh, the battery just costs so much. So, uh, but please, if you still have any questions about uh, how I put it together, you know, please let me know. So that's pretty much it. That's how I wired this, uh, how I wired the solar generator. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Uh, I, I'm glad to answer them. I love answering the questions of people um, that are responding to me in the comments. It, uh, and as always, you know, please subscribe to my channel and, and I, it will alert you whenever I've got new videos that have come out. Uh, please like this video if you felt like it was instructional and helped you a lot. And as always, I will come back to you with a video as quickly as I can. Thanks.